In this lecture, we will cover error, defect, and failure. Here, the learning objective is to distinguish between error, defect, and failure. This topic is marked as K2. First, we will cover the definition of error, defect, and failure, and then we will see the detailed explanation. The first term is error. An error is defined as a human action that produces an incorrect result. Now let's relate this definition to software testing. If the developer finds a mistake in their own code, then it is referred to as the error. The second term is defect, which is also referred to as fault or bug. The defect is defined as a flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail performing its required function. Now let's relate it to the software testing. Once the tester finds the bug and the developer accepts it, then it is called as a fault. The third term is failure. It is defined as a deviation of the component or system from its expected delivery, service, or result. Now let's relate it to the software testing. Suppose you are using the software, but it hangs. That means if the product is in use and it's not working as expected, then it is a failure. Since these three definitions are important, I am repeating them again. An error is defined as a human action that produces an incorrect result. The definition for defect is a flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail performing its required function. Failure is defined as deviation of the component or system from its expected delivery, service, or result. Now we will see the detailed explanation of error, defect, and failure concepts so that you understand their differences. Let's understand this with the help of the development lifecycle. Suppose you got the user requirement. From this user requirement, the requirement engineer has to write the system requirement. Now suppose, while writing the system requirement, the requirement engineer makes a mistake. There are two possibilities. First, he can find it by himself and correct it. Second, he delivers the requirement document as a work product to the next stage. In the first case, since the requirement engineer corrected the mistake by himself, no one will ever come to know about this mistake and it will be referred to as the error. But in the second case, since the error made by the requirement engineer is part of the work product, it will be referred to as a defect. Most of the time, these defects are found by the tester or reviewer during the review process. And after getting the feedback from the tester or reviewer, the requirement engineer corrects the mistake made by them. But if the requirement document is not reviewed, or if the reviewer could not find these defects, then the defects will be introduced to all the below stages. And finally, the implementation will be wrong. If the implementation is wrong, the delivered software will also have this defect. Now, if the defect is found by the tester or the user while executing the code, it will be referred to as a failure. Let's quickly summarize the points. A person can make an error or mistake, which can lead to the introduction of a defect, which is a fault or a bug, in the software code or in some other related work product. An error that leads to the introduction of a defect in one work product can trigger an error that leads to the introduction of a defect in a related work product. If a defect in the code is executed, this may cause a failure. Now let's see a real industry example to understand this concept in a better way. Suppose this is a requirement. If speed is 120 km per hour or more, then an overspeed warning shall come. Now, this is a code written by a developer. 
if speed is greater than 120 kilometers per hour. Since he forgot to include the equal to sign here, it's a mistake made by him. If the developer, or sometimes called an author, finds a mistake by himself and corrects it, it is referred to as the error. Suppose he could not find this mistake and delivered the code for review. The mistake is part of the work product, hence it is referred to as a defect. If the reviewer finds this defect and provides feedback to the author, the author will correct it. But if the defect is not found by the reviewer, but found during the execution of the code by the tester or by the user of the product, it will be referred to as a failure. Now let's summarize the points. An error is defined as a human action that produces an incorrect result. The definition for defect is a flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail performing its required function. Failure is defined as a deviation of the component or system from its expected delivery, service, or result. The fault is found by the tester in the development environment, whereas failure is found by the user in operational use, and it happens due to the deviation from the requirement. The fault is the cause of the failure.